Hello guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to add Bootstrap to your Angular project in three easy and different ways. Stay with me and see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, here we have some basic Angular structure which uh, I created uh, with Angular CLI in uh, previous episodes. So we have a basic routing and uh, this is a website let me open it. Okay, uh, this is our website that has uh, two links uh, and uh, two components with our thing. So this is really, really basic, uh, basic uh, application. So uh, for this case, uh, we didn't have any Angular, uh, any Bootstrap here installed. So as you can see, and what we have to do here, uh, first we have to go to Bootstrap uh, official website. So get bootstrap.com and download and now in this section here uh, we're going to uh, use CDN that's the first way of adding uh, bootstrap to your angular project it's the easiest way uh, if you want to test something or to, to test bootstrap on your project you can add it without affecting anything uh, in your uh, application so uh, we're just copying that going to index.html in your application and pasting the links here so you can add scripts to the end of the body here and that's it now we have added a bootstrap to our website here as you can see we have these buttons here we, uh, that are bootstrap buttons uh, now uh, i'm going to show you a different way and different approach how to add bootstrap first i'll remove this here and get the the website uh, as it as it was before this adding bootstrap so as you can see here now we are back to the website but this time we're using node package manager okay or just copy here and going to the terminal pasting this and enter so this is going to install bootstrap uh, from node package manager for us after doing that we are going to angular.json file here in this file we are going to add a bootstrap here from the node modules so uh, as i'm using uh, scss as uh, inline style language here i'm going to use a specific path here for bootstrap in your case if you are using uh, css instead of scss uh, you can uh, add bootstrap following the next steps okay uh, we are navigating to node modules finding bootstrap here okay after, after installing okay bootstrap here we are okay uh, let's do this node modules and now bootstrap and this is the trick uh, if you're using uh, CSS as I said a couple of seconds before uh, you are going to use this dist folder and navigate to CSS and find bootstrap that mean that uh, CSS here this one and include and include that here but uh, as I said that I'm using uh, SCSS I'm going to navigate at this SCSS folder and slash bootstrap that SCSS so that's it here and now we have bootstrap added to our project after editing this angular json file any anyways doing anything with it you have to rebuild your angular application to see the changes so we're going here and typing ngs with shorthand of ng sir so we are waiting waiting for our application to build okay compiled successfully go back to our browser here and now we can see the result so we have this uh, bootstrap here on our website 
as it was before this but this time we are using node modules to install bootstrap and we have it we have our local version of bootstrap not cdn so that's the second way of installing bootstrap uh, the third way uh, and the one i prefer the most is this one i'm going to remove this as uh, uh, we have a styles uh, that is a global CSS here. So uh, this is default and it says uh, you can add global styles to this file and also import other styled files. I will use this here to add uh, SCSS of Bootstrap here and actually to import it and uh, to have our my version of Bootstrap running. So first I have to rebuild application and while waiting that i'll import bootstrap okay import and i'll say here tilde uh, this tilde means that uh, webpack will use the node modules that when you add it, uh, it it will go to node modules and look at the libraries you type next to it so in this case bootstrap then scss then bootstrap so take note here i don't have to use extension scss as i'm importing the file to scss so that's it it's compiled successfully the first time and the second time i'm rebuilding again after saving this scss file and here Again, we have Bootstrap installed in our application. So we can go here and see some kind of uh, things we can add. Components, patch, doesn't matter. I'll add something here. Let's say okay. Let's see card. I will add some card here. So I'll copy this code to our bootstrap, to our uh, Angular application here and uh, into this app component where I have everything before the router outlet and add card. So this is card title and everything. Also, I can add this router outlet here just to see. What's going on okay so click here component 2 works click here component 1 works in this car so we're just missing the image okay that is basically it uh, I I think that uh, this tutorial will, will be helpful for you and thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video please like subscri subscribe my channel thank you very much and see you in the next video